The mosquito-borne disease malaria is Africa's biggest killer, but thanks to some experiments by these high school pupils, an anti-malarial drug could be available for a fraction of its current market price. So it, it was a lot of trial and error, the process. We had to repeat a lot of the reactions and try different reaction conditions in order to see which materials and which things would react to make the diaprim. It required a lot of dedication. We had to spend a lot of extra um, curricular time, such as like before and after school, even during lunch, coming to the lab and helping the teachers out with this project. There was a global outrage after the price of a single dose of Daraprim rose more than 5,000% last year. A pharmaceutical company acquired the rights to the drug and it shot up from $13.50 to $750. The pupils say they wanted to prove that it was possible for ordinary high school pupils to produce the drug at a far lower price. These compounds, which you think are like um, only accessible to these large, um, large scale companies are actually able to be like accessed and produced by ordinary citizens. And they were ecstatic when they realized they had succeeded. So what happened is our science teacher invited us to the lab and he had a huge grin on his face and he showed us an NMR spectrum on the computer and it was like have a look at this and then we realized that it was diaprim and it was definitely dis disbelief at the start but it turned into joy when we realized we actually made the thing we were looking for. Although the cost of manufacturing a drug has little to do with developing or marketing it, the pupils say their science project was about the principle. There's no justification for such a massive price hike, especially on Daraprim, a drug the World Health Organization lists as an essential medicine. Catherine Omwando, CCTV.